and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Frostbite. Let's bring this deck back. This was definitely one of my favorite, I mean, this was my favorite deck at the beginning of the format. Um, but, you know, these days I've been liking the, the Twisted Fate decks more and the Twisted Fizz is now kind of my favorite. Um, like the beginning of the format, there's a lot more kind of like mid-rangey decks and like, uh, Dem like Demacia decks. But Demacia is kind of making a comeback, so I want to try this out. Usually Demacia is a pretty good matchup with all of our Frostbite stuff in here. What we really struggled with the last time that we played was the Twisted Fate decks that uh, have too many two-for-ones, that just everything in their deck are two-for-ones, and they would just outgrind us. Um, so, you know, like, we're not changing very much. But I think that's just going to be a tough matchup for us if we run into that. We did have two Caught in the Colds before. I'm going to try one Katarina as a champion that can just give us a really good late game, potentially. Like, if we do kind of run out of cards... And if we have Katarina, we can just keep on playing Katarina and Rallying and Strike, put it back. It gives us a really good Mana Sink. So we'll try that out. If Katarina doesn't really look so good, I think I would, I'd want to play the third Sejuani um, in this slot. But I want to try out one Katarina um, to start with. But all right, yeah, let's let's play some Ash, like where we get to Frostbite a whole bunch of stuff, um, do a bunch of challenge, uh, challenging and everything, and have some fun. Let's go. Hopefully do something cool with Katarina. Making a Blade's Edge isn't bad either. There's going to be times where that's going to come up where that'll be important. So the thing about Katarina is it is a really good mana sink late, but it's not a good card early. This is not a card you want to play like on turn three because it just goes back into your hand and you just lose too much uh, momentum. It's a card I will almost always, always mulligan from the opening hand. But yeah, it's... So you just lose too much like tempo of like your turn three like you spend three mana to put a card back into your hand. And you don't want to lose that kind of board position. Wow. Oh, that's bad. The reason why I didn't play the 6-2 is because I wanted to have... I thought the 6-2 you know, like more valuable. I wanted to have the Elixir of Iron when I played the 6-2. So they're probably going to pass back to me and wait for me to attack. Okay, no, they didn't. Wow. All they did was just play a Jagged Butcher. Kind of surprised they didn't do that. No prey, no pay. Let's get to it. I will block. Avros and Hearthguards had that bug for a long time now. It's been, you know, a few months where you play a Hearthguard and it has that, you know, text bubble on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Palest of Aeons. Only the finest serve. It's a little unexpected. So we're at two out of five for Ash. Three out of five. Guessing they have more steel cards. One of that plunder. Okay, so we have two targeting hearth cards. So hearth card is going to take four damage, and this the ash is going to be dead. They really don't make that easy, do they? <laughs> Trying to figure out what to do with that. A true Felyorian welcome. Alright, GG's. Wanna know? A good win there, even through, you know, like that make it rain that was a two for one and so on. GG's. It's a bunch of spooky spiders over there. I think I like this. This is going to be a longer game. Um, they who endure plus atrocity can be a problem, but we have like harsh winds to try to look for. Well, I don't, I don't need you now. I need you on like turn nine. But basically, because this is going to be a longer game, I kind of like like how these cards set up. Oh my gosh! I just didn't even attack. <laughs> and this is why we never level up Sejuani. Trade Elixir of Iron for one spider. Nah. These biggest tombstones. All right, we don't need any more harsh winds. Those harsh winds could allow us to set up lethal if we get enough attack power out here. There's nothing to fear. Our strength is yours. We, we shall be in their trees in us all. Yeah, it's kind of weird because, like, they want to attack with those and have them die to level up Callista, but then they also don't want to attack with them so they can level up Elise. They're going no attacks. Victory requires a sharp blade. We'll show you what you see. And then cost. 
Souls unite the Frail Yord. Cool. I'm glad. I'll cut them apart. Avarosans, stand together. You gotta believe me. <sighs> Reconnecting. What's going on? Oh, come on. Don't make me miss this attack. What's happening to you two? Okay, there we go. We're back. <laughs> My opponent's mad at me. I really need to get this Neverglade Collector too, but we just can't. I mean, we just have to take the champions. Try to set up Neverglade Collector next turn. My next attacking turn. Yeah, so um, whenever Ash does the strongest enemy, there you go, goes highest power first, and then, then it looks at health. And then the cost after that. And there's two of those tied. I don't really know. Carved from the savage cold. Puts me down to ten if I go block block. Stand and defend. Don't need a brittle steel yet. Two out of five. Twelve, fifteen, uh, twenty-three. So if I go, if I go for lethal, I have like elixir of iron to protect me from like grass. Like they need vengeance, right? Like that's the only thing that saves them is vengeance. Um, Bring me chaos. I think. I think I just do that. Force them to have vengeance. My aim is true. Yeah, so Casper Walker, uh, yeah, you're new with the region rewards. I recommend leveling them all up to level eight. Level 8, you get the champion capsule. It's the most valuable thing to get. So level up your regions to level 8, and then go to the next one and do level 8, and so on. And, and level them all up to level 8 first, and then kind of go from there. Alright, no vengeance. That's how we win a whole lot of games with this deck, is just Ash attacking for lethal, Frostbite a whole bunch of stuff, like Frostbite everything, attack for lethal. Yeah, and and Killick says you should go to, round, or go to level 4 with everything, then level 8, then level 12, then level 16. That's also good, is, is going by 4s, because I think at 4 you get, I don't know, you get something else that's good. 
too. So yeah, going by fours is good also. I kind of recommend doing like go eight on all of them and then and then maybe 12 on on them and so on. I I did level 8 on all of them and then I just did 16 like get the other champion capsule and then go to the next one and get the other champion capsule. That's what I did. I um, I skipped the 412 step. Burn. Harsh winds can save you sometimes against burn, but Elixir of Iron is like our best card. That's obviously not a true statement. Obviously, Ash is our best card. But... Elix Elixir of Iron protects Ash very efficiently. And I wouldn't mind a challenger to go along with these Legion drummers. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Everything's in place. Alright, so I'm at 17. Go ahead, make that attack. Do it. For the Empire! Better run! Alright, 17. Damn it! Backfired. About as good as we could hope for those two. Cards. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Let me show you what I can do. Hi, Bad. Getting that resub. Thirteen awesome months. Thank you so much, I Bad. And that's sub number four on the day, so we only just need one more sub Empire. to get that sub goal. Assessor is a better card. I don't draw any cards from Assessor. Not and ready. I'll go with this. I guess if I do play Assessor, maybe they have some okay attacks anyway. I like having all this spell mana for these two things. Love a taste of the action. Clear it out. Hmm. So they have transfusion. So they're gonna trans they're gonna do one damage to this and make this a two five. So I think I just don't block the two five. I mean, I guess if I don't block the 2-5. I don't block the 2-5. All right. damage here. I like they do one to this and then pump up Crimson Disciple. And then if they pump up Crimson Disciple, then I don't get to Brittle Steal it anymore. Hmm. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do them to do. I wanted them to pump this up. That's why I wanted to go with the Elixir of Iron here. Like, I wanted to attempt that to happen. Perfect. Our strength is yours. I'll try anyone one. Today we fight as one. Your path ends here. 
Take nine. Take a nine. What's up, Ash? Faster than my arrow? I think not. <laughs> we are smork and burn. Let me show you. I don't know. So what can you do? Are you kidding me? That was like the best draw. Well, that was a good draw. I mean, you know, don't let him block. We're basically attacking for lethal anyway. Yeah, turn one Omen Hawk, turn two, four, three. That was that was perfect. That's like where we really won that game. Or at least that that helped us out immensely. All the way up to 113. We were at like, you know, three fifties or seventies or something like that earlier. Yeah, then, because uh, we started 0 and 2 with the Endure Spiders, because we lost our first one, and then I, uh, and then I accidentally got, then I accidentally uh, started a game with the wrong thing, so I just auto, con so I just conceded immediately, and I think we we're at like 370 there. And I know we went win lose, so we won our last two. So that's five, nine, 13 and two, 13 and two over our last 15 games. That's pretty good. All right, Twisted Fate Fizz. This is probably my worst matchup. I am not really expecting to win this, to be honest. This is what we really struggled against. Slow, slow hand, but <clears throat> to me. this can help. This hand can kind of. This hand can grind. Yeah, slumber. This as wise legends of Terra so expensive to build an available collection. It's actually when you compare it to other card games, it is dirt cheap. Thank you. Compared to other card games, like uh, collectible card games like this, but yeah, you you don't start with you don't start with like the you know the very best stuff if you're just starting out like with your collection. Of course, like that's just not how it how it works. But you you know you just yeah you play against other people online. You can also play against the AI, and you earn experience and you use your um, use that experience in the different region rewards to unlock to unlock cards and you know keep that grind going so the good news is they're using all these pilfered goods and black market merchants and stuff before my Avarez and hearth card good news
Still want my Ash to die to a Mega Rain or a Danger Twisted Fate. Fate red card right away. Well, it looks like it's going to die here. Good, we got that attack in. Or oh, sorry, we got the got to freeze that thing. Save Ash for a turn. So like my plan next turn, like if we can untap with Ash, we get to vulnerable something, and then we have Ash challenge the thing that's vulnerable. And we can play a Legion drummer here and have Legion drummer um, you know support the Rhymefang Wolf. We could have a pretty good attack next turn. Could. Never lost a fair game. Blue as the serpent. We march as one, an unstoppable force. That bubble's the well. Rival says, I came upon this game knowing nothing about League of Legends, but two things hooked me. One, the abundance of the rewards that you get. Yep, and two, being able to play on each turn. Yeah, isn't that... You know, I'm just kind of used to it by now, but isn't it so interesting? Being able to play on each turn. Um, you know, you don't just have, like... You don't just, like, sit there while your opponent does a whole lot of stuff. And you're just waiting and waiting and waiting. Then you forget what's going on. Pain is nothing. So we're gonna have Sejuani attack, you attack, you attack, you attack. have to have the Legion Drummer attack and, like, sacrifice the Legion Drummer. My aim is true. I kind of want to trade Legion Drummer for Shell Shocker. Harsh winds. That's harsh. Or that's cold. That's cold. How do you get Sejuani? Yeah, just, just keep playing. Just keep earning those rewards. Like, you get champion wild cards. With the region rewards, go to level uh, slumber. You know, get a region up to level 8. You get you unlock the champion capsule as a champion wild card. And then go to the, go to the next region and Continue on. So Assessor draws two. Currently. Yeah, this is probably our worst matchup. I mean, it not probably. It, it just it, it, this is our worst matchup. Face me, cow. Harvest 
nothing. Yeah, I never level up Sejuani. That doesn't matter. I've I've never leveled up Sejuani in this deck, and I haven't. Don't I don't care. That doesn't matter. Do you think Timo and Sedge are worth playing in the latter? Um, it's not going to be like one of the best things. Like you won't have like a huge, a real high win rate, but um, but yeah, you can have. You know, it's it's definitely like I think you should be playing whatever you think's fun. I think that's like one of the most important things is play what 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 you'll have fun with. Um, we did, um, if you're looking for a, a Teemo, um, Teemo Sejuani deck, we did have a Teemo Sejuani deck that we played about four days ago that was good, and there's a link to that. We went 3-2 in Master's Rank with it, so, you know, that's certainly respectable. Perfect card to draw. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. Rummage is pretty busted with Twisted Fate. I guess that is true. Uh, no, like if I if I target if I have Crystal Arrow target the Fizz, then yes, they could have it with. But if I'm not going to target the Fizz, I'm going to target something else. Slumber. Thanks for the bits. Thanks for the cheers. We're going for the win. Like if they play like three things and they gold card the Ash, we still have 16. Yeah, suit up would be a problem. Born for conquest. Yeah, I guess that would be a problem. That would let them block. Oh, they just have my harsh winds. It's even more of a problem. Dang. 
Now I wish I would have challenged those hunters. Well, I guess the hunters can't kill Ash right now because this is seven five Ash because of the hearth guard. Dang, stop! Could be doing that just for Fizz, could be doing it for Riptide Rex. If it's for Riptide Rex, I'm in lots of trouble. Only the finest serve. I just wanted to draw three while we could. be a close one. Yeah, these Trifarians can dig us out of a hole. Let them think it's luck. Gonna draw on lots and lots of cards next turn. All they have to do is play two spells and the red card like really messes me up like if I try just going straight to attacks. How am I doing on cards in library? 17? Not bad. Alright, so that's my last harsh wins because they played two harsh wins against me. I can make five things not be able to block with Harsh Winds, Brittle Steel, Brittle Steel. That's four. Ash Attack, five. So five things couldn't block. But they play a spell, and that kills these two attackers. They block another one there. And let's say that spell's a removal spell, and so that's gone. So then we're only looking at doing eight damage. They got 14. So yeah, basically just going to... Gonna keep on playing stuff over these one toughness things because one toughness things were just dead.
I'm not going to brittle steal the twisted fate because if they have removal, they're going to be using it. They're going to be using the removal on here anyway, so I would just be kind of wasting this brittle steal. They want to use like one removal on this and save their fizz and let me kill the twisted fate. I'm fine with that. Yeah, by by this time, I'm I'm definitely assuming they have more twisted fates. What what seems the most likely, I guess, like with yeah, with them using that, so. Was the fate pretty good? Pretty good. So yeah, this is over. And you can see why this is our worst matchup. Just can't deal Twisted Fate, but honestly, I think that like I really thought that we were gonna win this until they had the. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the game. I really thought that we were gonna be winning that until the rummages like the two rummage level up twisted fate before i thought they were going to be able to plus be able to play a whole bunch of stuff because rummage only costs one mana that was really where my opponent won that game but uh earlier the black market merchant double pilfer goods right away you know before turn I think, I think like on turn three they'd already played all that stuff turn four i guess taking two harsh wins it was a close game definitely a close game Yeah, surrendering is just the same thing as losing. You do the surrender, it's it's just the exact same as losing. There's no like a there's no additional penalty. It's just it's a loss. We march as one, an unstoppable force. There's nothing to fear. Nice. Love hitting Assessor with off Omen Hawk. Skitter out from the darkness. So young. Um, I could I could definitely see that argument that um, black market merchant and pilfer goods are too powerful. Yeah, I mean they're they're incredible. I will unite the frail yard. Continue without me. Well, that went as poorly as it could for me. That went as poorly as it could. But we did draw another Ash. So that's My lucky. beauty is beneath the skin. Show them the might of Noxus. 
Save and Legion Drummer. I think so. <laughs> no, the, the Noxian burn deck is not annoyingly OP. It is very good, especially at lower levels, where people have like less collection and stuff like that, but it's not... Um, it's not something you really see too much of in Master's rank anymore. Only two for Ash right now. Formation. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Nice. Another 5-4 assessor. Very good. So I was planning on playing Ash, then attacking out and everything, but now I just kind of realized that we're sitting there staring at Ruination mana. And that's pretty annoying. So do I just go straight to combat and challenge? Uh, Ruination mana is kind of problematic. But by doing this line, we are slowing down quite a bit. Which is really what my opponent wants, us to slow down. Yeah, they're kind of running out of cards, but this is where they start dropping Ledros. And then they don't need any more cards, they just have Ledros. That's interesting. Let the bloodshed begin. Out of these, they would need to trade a lease. Katarina. No, thank you. We're gonna make that trade.
It's a pretty unlikely ruination, right? If I play Ash. I really hope no ruination. Worst case scenario, we just like drop Glory Seeker, Glory Seeker, Assessor, draw some cards. Definitely wish I had one more mana where I could pick up, where I could replay Katarina. I picked it up. Yeah, no, Toro, yeah, you, you can definitely grind decks without real money. Traded for a Vi. Could be worse. I don't know if they were like waiting for me to play Katarina and then they were gonna play Karina afterwards, but they're passing priority and so I'll just go to combat. I have multiple lethal attackers, thank you. But if they play something, then I have the Katarina option. They don't. We just go right to combat and that is a four and one. So yeah, as we talked about the one, uh, Probably the worst matchup for, like, definitely the worst matchup for the deck is Twisted Fate, um, Bilgewater, Steal All Your Stuff. That's the worst matchup for the deck. Unfortunately, that's like that's like my favorite deck to play, too, the, the Twisted Fizz that we played right before this. But a lot of things kind of, you know, like, a lot of things went right for my opponent to, to win that game. Like, it was still really, really close, that game that we uh, did lose. Um, it's a game that I thought that we were going to be winning for a long time, but... Yeah, this deck's good, and I think I, I liked the Katarina. I did like that one Katarina. That's better than the second Caught in the Cold. I think that's an upgrade that we just had. Um, again, I could see that being the third Sejuani, but I think it's nice having access to just like one Katarina. It was good. Like that, it was definitely good that last game. Um, so, yeah. So those those of y'all. Um, you know, playing this deck still, because this deck's good. Still still a deck I enjoy for sure. Looking for a good quality Ash deck. Give this one a try. And I think that's a good upgrade of one caught in the cold for a cat arena. All right, but that's it here for Sejuani Frostbite. So thank you so much for watching everybody on YouTube. And of course, everybody here on Twitch also. And I will see you for the next video.